What is going on everybody? Mr. Lad here and I'm doing the reveal of my brand new detailing vehicle mobile setup guys. You heard that I got in an accident with Bruce, my old Pontiac Aztec. The Heisenberg went down, Walter White took the fall, but the rise is coming and I just wanted to show you guys what I've got. And just to let you know, it is not this vehicle. Here it is. Woo, come on somebody 2010 Scion XB guys this vehicle is a dream and I love it I just love working with this vehicle this thing is just awesome so as many of you know I was in an accident and uh, this accident it was rough it was rough I was driving down I-95 and I was passing an off-ramp and someone was trying to make the off-ramp and they're flying at like 95 mile an hour slammed right in the back of me I go spinning out in I-95 over three almost four lanes in the middle of rush hour traffic could have been dead a lot of people could have been hurt or even killed so I got to be careful while driving but thankfully everything's okay and I'm doing good and this is the blessing that came out of it so this is the miracle in the aftermath of the storm, and this thing is awesome. It's a 2010. I bought it. It's got 96,000 miles. It's a little bit high, but it's a Toyota, so it works great. It is the upgraded model, which is pretty cool. So it comes with the BBS wheels. I'm going to take you guys on the inside of it real quick. But this thing, I just, man, this, this vehicle is a dream. So I got my cooler in here because I didn't bring it in. The wife is going to kill me. I got my super clean hat. Let's wear that bad boy. But honestly, this thing is nice and there's a lot of space. I can work with a lot here. So, I mean, it's got everything I need. I keep my <laughs> my Turtle Wax Odor X. This is just something I have just to spray in the car. Because the, the, the dealership that sold me this car, their detailer was junk in the car. I got it back smelling like garbage here. But I got a great deal on it. I got this car is valued around seventy five hundred, and I got it for sixty five. So it's good though, you know. It, it works. It's decently clean. You know what I mean? Like it gets the job done, and and it works for what I need. So even the back, it holds all my stuff. I'm gonna take you guys to the back hatch, and I'm gonna show you exactly everything. But it's really cool because there's quite a few compartments. I got a compartment here for glasses or for whatever receipts you want to keep in here. Got the lights. Um, for glasses and all that, like it's just there's a it's very there's a lot of compartments here. It's definitely a utility vehicle, and it's funny because when they marketed it, it was marketed towards like the teenage crowd, which I think it's great with teenagers and, and young people. And I don't know. I remember back in the days when I would consider myself a young person, but now I'm 28, so I don't know if I'm considered young anymore. You know, but yeah, rocking Hey Arnold, come on somebody. That's how you know I'm old school, baby. But you know, over here I got my I got my uh, stool generator in there. I've got some of my stuff. Now it's it's way disorganized, and I've got to do a lot of work in here. Keep a brush just for trucks, gas tank, and all that. I've got to find a way to organize it so I can put my water tank back here, which I know I can do that. It's just what's the way to do it most efficiently and effectively? I keep my. Uh, extension cable down here and it's cool because this right here is a little spot if you can see that it's a little spot here it's where the seats are but i can fit like little microfibers or brushes or receipts or anything extra in here that's it's really really cool i think it's awesome and uh and so that's really cool but let me open up the back hatch here it's kind of in disarray here um the seat scion baby it's kind of in disarray but it this vehicle works out great now don't make fun of me I went to Walmart. I picked up one of these just because I have horrible luck with pressure washers. So I am currently on the mission to see which cheap pressure washer is the worst. I don't care about what's the best. Who, who wants the best, right? Who wants to be the best? Who wants to be the most effective? I want the worst. So I picked up the cheapest one out of all of them for 88 bucks. And that's with warranty. So, But yeah, I've got a cool, cool little thing. It's a compartment here, which I store some brushes my wheel brushes and whatever brushes else and i have a couple cans here that i put my foam can in and uh some stoner products you know just whatever cans i have but yeah like i said this this vehicle is a mess right now because i'm still trying to figure it all out i'm going to be spending today organizing it all but what i love is that i have a lot of space to pull the generator which in my pontiac i did not have that convenience for some reason it was very awkward uh, and it was just hard to work with. So that is one benefit I have of this vehicle over the Pontiac, which I'm very thankful for. 
Now, one downside, one downside that I have is the Pontiac. I don't know if you remember, but it, so it was the hatch that came up, and then there was the 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 trunk or the, the I guess you could say the trunk that came down. And so when I'd pull it down, there'd be a couple cup holders here. You can sit down. It was just basically a tailgating vehicle. I don't have that in this vehicle, but that means I can reach in deeper and I can go farther in. So there is that bit of convenience there. So, uh, but yeah, that's the back. Got a couple little compartments here. I don't know what I would do with these. I'm looking to see if I can actually attach a pressure washer hose reel in here. I was thinking originally about doing it here, but then I realized that's too close to the actual body of the vehicle that I'll probably end up drilling through the actual body and that would be disgusting. So I'll probably have to do it here. I was thinking also about in the headliner, but if I do it the headliner, once again, that's close to the body of the vehicle and I don't want to destroy the headliner because I don't want to compromise it at all. Um, but, you know, there's got to be a way of doing it. Probably here would be the best spot, or even right here, possibly, if that's not too close to anything. We'll figure it out, though. You know, as time goes on, this is a work in progress. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's cool because I have enough room to do what I need. Got my vacuum cleaner right here with my hose. See the last coat over here? I actually used it yesterday. I was doing an executive package, which is my wash clay, wax, and... Um, and leather conditioner and it works pretty good i actually do like the product it's just pricey so since i have it i use it which congratulations to the winners of the giveaway i'm, I'm uh i sent you guys messages on your comments on my video so respond to that so i can get you your uh get your address so i can send that out to you but you know like i said it's a mess guys this is disgusting this is just some cheap glass cleaner that i use from a local detail supply company um it's like 12 bucks a gallon and it works it works pretty good in the heat it's not as good i still prefer the stoner invisible glass aerosol can but it works pretty good so i just got some gloves here and some storage whatever i got my fire hose nozzle um and i got a couple products in here i've got the pearl nano um top coat i got some of the coatings on one experiment with i just gotta hurry up and do that and uh and yeah so i got i just picked up this i've never tried it before but i'm excited to try it um and so i just picked up to see how will this work with my maintenance clients that i don't necessarily wax their vehicle like in-depth waxes i just do um you know i just go ahead and and do you know like maintenance patches where i see them once every week or two weeks and then uh you know wash and wax like a like a spray wax or spray sealant or something like that so now i'm in the the passenger seat and guys this this, this vehicle's got space like i really really like it forgive my white legs guys if you see them please forgive me it's i'm not trying to be risque <laughs> but it's a little bit of chocolate thunder here i had it i got a hold of an old bottle from a friend of mine and just a little bit left over i kind of diluted down um it's a good product there's other products that are better but it's a good product and i actually really like it and i endorse it if that means anything but you know i've got space in here glove compartment got a calendar that came with the car of muscle cars they gave me that in supercars so it was pretty cool but it comes with alpine stereo um it comes with a lot of, it's, it's, there's a lot of it's just really cool you know what i mean like see the gauge clusters and everything like it, it's really really good hey what's going on you can see yourself now but you know it works really good it's great it's a very user-friendly vehicle it starts up easily it has a great startup See if I can do this. I've never done it without putting my foot on the brake here. Yep, starts up. Blast that AC because it's like 90 degrees outside in South Florida. But, guys, this is this is the vehicle. Now, I've never seen this down here. We got some other stuff. Oh, that's just adapters. Got my gospel music playing. Um, but you know what, guys? This vehicle works really, really good. I've got a little space. It's a small center console. Um, so that's one thing that's kind of a bit discouraging about it. But, you know, besides that, you know, you win some, you lose some. You know, you can't win at everything, but I think I'm winning with most things over here in this vehicle. I've already done quite a few vehicles with it, and it's just so easy to maneuver, to navigate. And I am so excited to get things rolling out over here. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the outside of the vehicle. Let me show you more of the body. Let's turn the vehicle off, and let's get more to the body of the vehicle. So, you know, it's got the BBS wheels, which came... It did not come stock with the vehicle. What I mean by that, it was not with the base model. It, it's with the upgraded model. So this is the upgraded version. The headlights need to be restored a bit. I'll bust out some HA quality. I've got one more review I got to do with them anyway. So we'll do that. Um, 
But you know what? What I like about this vehicle is there's a lot of space, yet it's not so tall. Like I'm still taller than the vehicle. So this is more of a wagon, like a old school station wagon, than it is a uh, actual truck or SUV. Um, so you know it's good. I've got some paint chips over here, which I've, I've started off my business doing paint touch-ups and all that. So I can go ahead and uh, do some of those and do some reviews on Dr. Color Chip and some other companies you guys recommend. But what I want to start doing is uh, because I eventually want to get some type of wrap over here with my logo and you know some 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 um, some lettering. I don't know how I'm going to do it because the vehicle is still kind of small whether I do the logo on the window and do some lettering right here. But if I do lettering right here, is that too small? So should I do the logo right here, the lettering over here? I don't know, guys. Of course, with the back, it's pretty self-explanatory. Be what I have with the Corolla, just lettering in the back. And then over on this side, I would do the same thing I do on the other side. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I'm looking to invest a few hundred dollars in that. Not too much, but, you know, I figure that this is a vehicle that I could do that with. And um, I'm excited, but what I want to start doing is, you know, I told you before this, I am not a fan of wash and wax soaps, and I still am not a fan of wash and wax soaps. I hate wash and wax soaps. The wax inside, they say there's carnauba wax, but I doubt it because carnauba inside of water, I mean, how do you how do you manipulate that? It's a hydrophobic property. So what they're really doing is putting silicone. I've even talked to manufacturers that make wash and, wash and wax soaps, and really all it is is they're just putting silicone inside the product, which adds for a little bit of a more slickness. It puts a little bit more lubricity under the mitt. It puts a little bit more slickness on the panel, and it also allows it to be a little shinier. Guys, it's silicone. That's all they're doing, these wash and wax soaps. Even if they say carnauba wax, okay, maybe there's carnauba in it, but I doubt that that's doing anything, and, and I think that's just going to cause more problems than good. And so why I don't like wash and wax soaps is that that silicone gets all over the windows, and it's a pain in the butt to work with, and then you got to clean the windows. And now you're getting silicone all over your towels, and so your non-contaminated towels are now getting contaminated. So I just don't like that. And... Uh, so I'm thinking about, but with that being said, I'm so I want to protect this paint because I do want to keep it decent looking. So if it does add protection, I'm gonna start doing some reviews of some wash and wax soaps. I'll go to Walmart, buy some of the Chemical Guys ones. I'll go check out some different ones. We'll we'll check out the the cheap little coral blue and and all those different ones and try them in the foam cannon and have fun. You know why not? We're just gonna experiment and have fun. That's the purpose of this channel anyway. But guys, that's the Scion XB, and so its color is maroon. And I feel like such a maroon for driving it, bagoons. But it's maroon in color. And so maroon's kind of like a reddish deal. Maybe a little purple in it. I don't know. I had a customer yesterday who she was all like, oh, the car is purple. And I'm like, sure, yeah, yeah. I thought it was red, but yeah. So, but loose. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Um, the car is maroon, which is kind of like a red. So I decided that I was going to name the vehicle Lucy. I'm naming her Lucy. That's after my first dog I had growing up. I had a dog when I was five. My family got a pet. She was red, and she was a she. So we named her Lucy. It was a dog. It was a it was a um, mix with a greyhound and a lab. Beautiful dog. Dog was a pain in the butt though. But God bless Lucy, right? Uh, but yeah. With that being said, in honor of my old dog and in honor of a famous TV sitcom, we're naming this vehicle Lucy. So guys, Lucy and I are going to be running the roads of South Florida and wherever else we end up. And we're going to be detailing. We're going to be all around. We're taking over. That's just how it is. No, but also the Mr. Lad channel is going to thoroughly thrive, surely thrive throughout this with this vehicle. We're going to do a lot of stuff, you know. And uh, guys, thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you to all of you who put input and add into the Mr. Lad community. It's cherished. It's not in vain. I do appreciate it. And so that being said, guys, like, share, subscribe. We're going to have great content coming up. As well as, if you have any products you'd like to see me review, that's what we're here for. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. I need to go ahead and start doing the acid wheel cleaning videos because these wheels are going to start getting dirty soon. I've had the car for a few days. And I've put a couple hundred miles on it, so uh, it's going to start getting dirty. So we got to get something going on over here. But uh, we'll do some acid wheel cleaning videos, more different wheel cleaning videos, tire cleaning videos, how-tos, steam cleaning. And all the whole nine yards, guys. So that being said, leave your, your leave your suggestions down below. And guys, thank you so much for everything. Mr. Lad here, signing out. Say what's good to Lucy.